Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2018. This is something you might expect to see more in the United States or maybe Australia. Well, okay, we'll start off with the vehicle at the front. That's a Ford Ranger double cabin, 37,500 euros. Uh, but I'm not doing a car film. Oh, it's called the Wild Track, 4x4, of course. Let's have a look this thing more. This is the Dream Seeker pickup. I don't want to call it caravan, trailer. I think we'll have to find a better word than that because trailer just sounds negative. Um, camping unit. Okay, Americans say fifth wheel. Um, you know, I studied linguistics and I'm not happy with the word fifth wheel. Of course you've got to use the same words everybody else does. But Anyway, whatever it is, it's made, manufactured in the United Kingdom by a company called Enos. Um, and uh, let's have a look at the price, which is 85,650 euros in this condition. And uh, let's have a walk inside. So I'm sorry for the noise. There's not absolutely nothing I can do about it. The only time I can get in here to film is in the early morning or in the late evening. So, uh, there's got to be Hoover, Hoovering and all the rest of it. Somebody said, well, why don't you just put the sound in later, film first, put the sound in later. Have you any idea of how long that actually takes? I could probably do one film in about four or five hours. If that, I mean, that's... So, this is the way, this is the only choice I've got. Uh, so, this is the way it's being done. Now, look at the size of this apartment I'm going to call it. Okay, so the slide out is out. It's an enormous slide out and it gives you this magnificent kitchen. So you've got a microwave. I'm not suggesting microwaves are magnificent but uh, the rest of it is quite magnificent. You've got the Thetford. Uh, it's got a grill, it's got an oven, it's got four burners. You've got this space here to do your work on and you've got a bit of flexi space there so you can have this ledge out if you want or if you don't want you can have a bit more space on the couch. You've got all the way around lockers. Large window obviously have it, it open possibly in the you know, place you want to go to. Keep the fly uh, thing down, of course. Keep the, keep the insects out because they'll want to get in as well. And you can sit back here, watch the telly if you want. And you can sit at the table, you can eat that cake. Once you finish that, you can go off to the bedroom up there. Now, the, uh, let's look at the slide. Let's see how big it is to start off with. You've got the, uh, you've got it down there. Oh, you, okay, it's because you can see where it is. But so what? I mean, it's giving you this huge amount of space. Uh, and the first times I saw slide outs were well, in the United States, and uh, I think most of them. It, it, they serve the point of putting a couch in there and the couch doesn't seem to do anything. In this case here, you've got, you have a couch in, but you've got the table, you've got your, your kitchen, air, kitchen sorry, you've got your dining area, you've got, your, you've got the place where you can sit down there and watch the table, particularly watch the television. You can watch the table as well if you want. And um, you can sit down where I am right now. It's comfortable, pleasant. Uh, it really works. Up there you've got a magnificent um, sunroof and you've got a huge amount of storage as well I mean you could absolutely live in this the, 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 the one problem of course is the length because you've got the uh, the motor up front the vehicle the, the Ford Ranger in this case and um, 
than than the length of this. And so you know, it is in in the United States, it's less of a problem because there's always plenty of parking in the states. But in the um, in, in Europe, in general, it's it's not so easy with uh, parking. I don't think you can go to campsites, but some campsites also wouldn't actually accept it. On the other side, what you can do is, I suspect, you could leave the this part, the Dream Seeker, and uh, you and, and uncouple it from the the vehicle and park the vehicle somewhere else. So I suppose that would keep you down below certain weight limits whilst at campsites. So I had to make that point. But I mean, this is. It's so well done as well. I mean, whoever did the interior design for this, this, this it's brilliant. And you see, see the point of getting a professional interior designer. The, the work in this, I mean, it's really, I, think, I mean, it just fits so, everything sort of in its right place. And, and it really works. And you've got a massive amount of space at the same time. Such as that for a wardrobe. Drawers below. Bedroom, okay, it's, it's sloped there. So that's probably for aerodynamic reasons, I suspect. No, I'm not a caravan or trailer person, fifth wheel person, I'm not really, I'm not so much of a camper van person anymore, I'm a motorhome person. But, I mean this has really won me over. I'm always conscious, conscious, I should say, of the problems in uh, in parking. I've always got it on my mind. Particularly, you know, I do a lot of city stuff as well. Um, um, not a lot, but a little bit, let's say, in parking in cities. This on the open road. I mean, I can absolutely see the appeal of this in the United States. Why Australia? Huge spaces. Uh, but you know the, the the chance of parking. Actually, a place where I stay in Italy, for example, uh, in in I'm very conservative. I keep going back to the same place. You can see in other films. You see the place I'm, I stay at in Sicily. Films of it, and you know, there's plenty of space for something like this. Park this round. You've got a view of the sea out there. Oh no, oh, which way would I put it? Ah. Maybe, yes, no, I put the sea, no I wouldn't, no I wouldn't, the, the sea, sea would go that way and I'd have Mount Etna and the castle at that side maybe, something like that, I don't know, I, I think about the view when parking my van always, or maybe that way, I don't know, dream seeker, you see, I'm already thinking of where I'm going to put it. Right, yeah, I'll show you the kitchen a little bit. Very 
deep sink. These things are. That's apparently a cutting board, but I wouldn't use it as such. Well, maybe I would after about when the van was about 10 years old or something. But um, I wouldn't do it when it was new. Right, uh, unfortunately got a lot of noise outside. Um, I'm sure it's all copyrighted music. Maybe that uh, hoover is also copyrighted. Um, so that, that makes it a bit difficult whilst filming. Let's now have a look around the side. Got this one as well. You can see that Celtic Rambler. You can see that in another film. And uh, so look on the other side here. Right, so you've got a bit of storage there. I'm going to walk around uh, into the aisle. Get a better view from there. We can see how the slide out comes out. So you've got a double axle down there. No, I, I don't know enough about it to speak on the technical details. I've got um, an article planned, uh, which hopefully by the time this um, gets published, it will be available on my site. So it's um, www.motorhomefulltime.com, and you can see or get more information there about the entire unit. But I must say I'm very impressed by both of these and if you think this one was good have a look at the other one. <laughs> that is absolutely stupendous. In my biased opinion. And of course there's lots of other stuff from Dusseldorf for you to see, should you be so interested.